Hello. Hi, Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Sorry for the wait. No problem. But I am Angela and I am your nurse practitioner. And today we are going to do a history and interview. Okay. okay? And uh, before I dive into this, tell me what brings you in today. I have been having these headaches okay. right through here. I'm like, like three and four a week. Oh my goodness. For, for about four weeks now, so. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. Headaches. Okay, so you said it's been going on for three to four weeks? Yeah. Okay. So, just to let you know, while we're talking, I'm going to be taking some notes also, okay? So, um, I don't want to leave anything out trying to remember, keep everything in my head mentally. So, headaches for, uh, you said, well, let's go back a little bit. What has, what started the headaches, do you know? Well, I'm not sure. Nothing's really been too different lately. No. Um, no. Okay. And you said they started three to three weeks, four weeks, three, three or four, four weeks. weeks ago, something, somewhere okay. around there. I was ignoring them at first, but then I get, kept getting them over and over again. And I was Okay. And you don't know what triggered it. Okay. So we have these headaches and they started four to six weeks ago. And just a minute. What location is your Temporal area. Bilateral both sides? Yeah, it seems like, like almost like an ice pick going through your head. It's terrible. Oh my God. It's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, slasher movies, right? Huh? I'm talking about slasher scary horror movies. It's okay. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, so that I was gonna ask the characteristics of it. So you saying it's like a Ice pick? Is yeah, it's like stabby through both sides. Okay, so stabby like, you sensations. Know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, does anything make it feel better or worse? Uh, I, if I move around a lot, it hurts. Okay. You know? So, um, you know, ibuprofen takes the edge off of it a little bit, you know, but. Okay. Okay. Okay, any, uh, so the ibuprofen makes it a little better and moving around makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what would you rate that pain on a scale from zero where not, um, no pain at all, if 10 is the worst pain you ever felt? I'd probably say a seven or an eight. Okay. Okay. And does that pain radiate anywhere else? No. No? And the severity is a seven out of 10. So to make sure I got what you were saying, so the onset, what started it is unknown mm -hmm. and it's in your temporal area, mm -hmm. bilateral. Okay, and it started about four to six weeks ago and the pain is, the char characteristics of it is stabbing and what makes it worse is moving around and what makes it better is ibuprofen. Now, when you take the ibuprofen, what level would you say your pain goes to out of a, out of zero to 10? Uh, four or five. Four or five. <coughs> okay. Okay. Seven. Okay. So any other uh, symptoms or problems or worries that you have? No, everything's pretty normal, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to back it up a little bit, and I'm just going to ask some basic questions or whatnot. Um, I know your name, beautiful name. <laughs> and tell me, what is your primary language? English. English. Okay. And if you don't mind, your age? 44. And your date of birth? Eight twenty-seven 
My husband is Or, was born in 1976, May, and my son's birthday is 829. Huh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and please tell me your place of birth. Detroit. Detroit. Okay. And please don't be offended, but your gender. I was born a female, I still am. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you got to ask, right? You never know these days. But, the, you know, those girls are way more glamorous than I am. So. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and your race? I'm white. Okay. Marital status? Single. Okay. You ever been married? No. Okay. Okay, you're ethnic. Uh, Quattro. No, just from the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Um, your highest level of education completed? Uh, master's degree. Okay. And if you don't mind me asking, what did you receive your master's in? Uh, education, a okay. curriculum and instruction. Okay. That's rewarding. It might be what's causing the headaches. Oh, you think? Maybe. It, yeah. Does it stress you out? Uh, well, yeah, I teach high school so yeah okay. could be could be let me note that I like to note things okay. and you teach school age kids you said yeah nine through twelve oh nine through twelve okay and it becomes a little stressful well you've been around teenagers before <laughs> oh my gosh imagine imagine 30 of them in a room oh so. my goodness <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. And what kind of health insurance do you have? Uh, we Mesa. Our, our school covers Mesa. So. Okay. Okay, so headaches. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So now I'm gonna ask about your past medical history, okay. okay? So what I want you to tell me is have you had any major illnesses during your lifespan? No, been pretty healthy, normal. Okay, any injuries? Pregnancy, is that an injury? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might feel like one. <laughs> Any hospitalizations? No, just for the pregnancy. Yeah. Okay. Transfusions? Nope. Disability? Nope. Okay. Childhood illnesses? Measles? No. Mumps? No. Rubella? No. Nope. Chickenpox? Yes. I thought if you were going to say no about chickenpox. <laughs> I'm a pretty normal. <laughs> I guess not normal. I'm pretty lucky, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about pertussis? Uh, I don't think so. I've no. never, yeah. No. Strep throat? Um, yes, I did have strep throat. Oh, if you had got past that one too, you know. No, I I'm had to get your uh, yeah, you know, I, diet and uh, everything <laughs> else. <laughs> because I don't know. Nobody I didn't have a strep throat. Okay. As a childhood or an adult? I was a teenager. I had a, a bunny rabbit that carried it. What? Yes, they carry strep throat. So oh, I know. Isn't that, that, isn't that crazy? Yes. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. So I had to give the bunny rabbit away, obviously. Yeah. Now, how did they find out that's where it originated from? I, I don't know. I read in a report that I had it seven times that winter. Oh. And that was the only thing that changed. And so that, as far as for me, that's how they found out. Wow, seven times in the winter. So they said it has to be something. Right, what's changed? That's yeah. the only thing that changed. As soon as the rabbit left, then I stopped getting struck through it. So. Poor rabbit. I wonder no, if had pain. No, the rabbit went to a bunny farm and lived happily ever after as a daddy rabbit for the rest of his days. So oh. he was okay. much happier where he went. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's surgical procedures. Any surgical procedures? No. 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 Okay. Um, preg number of pregnancies? One. 
one, okay. Uh, spontaneous or induced uh, I don't know, brain is blank, not miscarriages um, but, um, abortion no okay. not that I know of I know that they can happen without you knowing so yeah okay so are your immunizations up to date except for the COVID vaccine yes oh okay I don't think that's I don't know if it's on the list of yeah. in, importance right now. But I don't know that it's mandatory right now. No, but I hope it yeah. becomes mandatory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, just okay. scared. Just scared. <laughs> so psychiatric, any psych problems as a child or an adult? No. no. Okay. Any allergies? Bees. Bees. Okay. Bees, yeah. All right. And when I was little, they said I was allergic to dust and mold, but I think a lot of little kids are, aren't they? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so dust and mold as a child, mm -hmm. but not as an adult. I had, don't don't haven't had any problems really. No. I don't dust a lot, so. <laughs> okay. So, B still as an adult. Yep. Okay. Yep. And um, how does what happens when you? What type of reaction do you get? Uh, you, the whole thing hives and can't okay. breathe and you know I have an EpiPen in my, in my uh, car. Uh, so. Oh you carry an EpiPen? Mm -hmm. Okay. So hives and breathing problems, anything else? Mm -hmm. Swelling or? Yeah I mean it's I, it hasn't gotten that far but mm -hmm. they were you know when, when I uh, last time I got stung mm -hmm. they gave me all the shots you know mm -hmm. your backside and the Okay. You know, they were starting to worry because my fl my throat was starting to close up. So mm. my they had to cut my ring off my finger. So. Mm. Okay. Thanks for being patient with me. I write all these. Oh, you're yeah, fine. Down. Okay. Let's see here. So, any allergies to medications? Not that I know. Of. Okay. Any food? Okay. So now let's talk about current medications. Are you on any medications right now prescribed? Mm, no, I am not. Do you take any over-the-counter med medicine? Just ibuprofen. Okay. So. Um, do you take any uh, herbal or supplements? No. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about examinations. When was your last physical examination? Honestly, it's been about five years. Oh. I know, I know I've been bad, so it's five been- Five years? Yeah, it's been about five years, so. Okay, eye exam? Um, probably about the same time. Okay. Foot exam? I don't remember having a foot exam. No, okay. So. Dental exam? About two years ago. Yeah. Hearing screen? I don't remember. That. Okay. <laughs> they probably did it the physical if they're supposed to, but you know. Okay. Yeah. EKG? No. Okay. Chest x ray? No. Nope. Pat test? Would have been at the last five physical. years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mammogram? No, I've never had one. Okay. Serum cholesterol? I have. Nope, never mm -hmm. had that. Okay. A stool occult? I I don't think I've had that done um, <laughs> ever. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, analysis? Uh, we would have probably been at the last physical because they, you know, they're okay. there. five years. Okay. Yeah. TB scan test? Don't recall that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys don't have to get TB uh, test for work, for school? Uh, we do, um, but I was hired in 20 years ago, so I don't oh. remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about your family history, okay? Um, are your grandparents still alive? No. No? Okay. 
Um, your parents still alive? My mom is. Okay. Okay. And your dad, when did he pass? He passed uh, 14 years ago. Okay. So he had a heart issues. Okay. And cholesterol and all the whole, didn't treat his body right things. Okay. Okay. Any uh, children? You, that's not what I meant. <laughs> any children? You have a, a <coughs> child? Yes. And most wives, grandparents, see mom is alive, dad. How is mom's health? She's like fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's good. super healthy. So, okay. And in fact, my, my Grammy. My mom's mom mm -hmm. just passed away last year at 97. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. And so is there, does the family have any, it doesn't sound like it, but do you want to make sure any health conditions that run in the family? No. Um, you know, here and there we'll get something like the heart issues. You don't see that often or, mm -hmm. you know, of course my dad smoked and all that and mm -hmm. no one else did. So, um, but no, no cancer or, you know. Okay. And no communicable uh, diseases, diseases or illnesses. Mm -hmm. So just your dad had the heart problem, cholesterol, no. he smoked. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. Let's talk about your lifestyle patterns, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm. Not an immigrant. No. Okay. And let's talk about your religion. Are you spiritual? Spiritual, not religious. Okay. 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 Okay, so how would you interpret your your health? I mean, I obviously should be going to the doctor more, but um, but you know, it's it's not hurting. I don't go, and so now that my head's hurting, I'm here. Okay, so yeah. So how would you, how would you rate as far as how healthy you think you are? How would you? I'd probably say a seven or an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pretty healthy. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I, I don't know because I don't get a doctor. <laughs> so, you know. Well, you're here today. That's you're right. <laughs> there you go. There okay. you go. What about your nutritional patterns? Is your appetite, has your appetite changed any? From no. What's ever normal for you? No, but when I do have the headaches, I don't want to eat because okay. I'm chewing, you know, start aching too much. Oh, so, but yeah. Headaches but, um, affect your chewing. Yeah. So. Okay. So, what, are you fighting through that pain and eating, or are you just not eating? I'll eat a little bit more until you know, and then st I won't eat as much. But okay, you know, fortunately, you know, there are other times of day to eat. That, mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I want to tell you too. Does the headache ask you? Does your headaches come and go, or are they just constant? They come and go, but but they'll last like five hours, six hours, and okay. then it'll go, and that'll happen maybe maybe three to four times a week. Okay. Where there's you know half a day gone. Okay, so they come and go, and you get it three to four times a week. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and when they come, they last for, you say, about four or five hours? Yeah, yeah. four to six, maybe, yeah. Either, so when you take your my medication, your pain medication, how long does the headache? It's about the same, but it's yeah. just not as severe. Okay. So. Okay. And then are they worse at night, uh, afternoon, morning? I don't know. I've been getting them at different times, you know, different, it's not, it doesn't seem to be registering any one location at one time. So. Okay. Okay. And let's see. So are you satisfied with your current weight? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any weight gains or losses? No, only around the holidays. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any restrictions, cultural restrictions? No. On food or intolerance? No. Okay. And what would you say the amount of fluid intake you drink, your intake for the day or um, a day? Actually, I know this for certain. It's 80 ounces a day. <laughs> 80 ounces of water a day. Okay. So. Now we're going to talk about your elimination pattern. So how's your bowel <laughs> elimination? Is it every morning same, same yeah. as it's been for the last... 20 years, I'm guessing. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every morning. And what is the characteristics of it, if you don't mind me asking? Standard? <laughs> well, what's standard? I mean, what's your standard? I'd probably call it like, you know, the baby bear, not too hard, not too soft. How's okay. that? Okay. You know? And it comes out formed and solid. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. And what about your bladder? Any of uh, uh, any problems with your bladder? No, I I do drink a lot of water though, so I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Lot, but, you know. And what would you say the color of the urine is? Very light yellow. Okay. Okay. I hope these questions aren't making you uncomfortable. They are what they are, you know, you know this you're is the fine. nurse, this is about my body, not my All right. Mind. We want to make sure we get enough information to make the best plan for you. Right. And these are like baseline questions, so when something is at normal, we will be able to go and see, no, you know, fine. baseline questions. No, it's <laughs> fine. See, you're okay. Fine. Okay, in your living environment, you live in a city, state, urban, rural? I'd say it's more rural than anything, okay. you know. Okay. Um, and are, have you been exposed to any uh, environmental toxins that you know of? Not that I know of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what about work? Are you going into work right now or are you working from home? I'm working from home right now. Okay. So. Okay. Functional assessments. Um, your activity of daily living. You're able to do everything on your own or do you have someone to assist you? I do everything on my own. Okay. Okay, so do you live with your child? Your child lives with you? Or no, you no, she home? moved. Uh, so just me at home. So. Okay, just you at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because I just want to ask you your role and who makes the family decisions. That's me. So that would be you. <laughs> okay. Do you have any problems? We're going to talk about your uh, cognitive function right now. Okay. Do you have any problems with memory? No, not yet. I mean, I'm not as sharp as I was in my 20s, but who is? Were well, you going to say not yet? <laughs> Not yet. I was. <laughs> but I might have forgotten what I forgot. <laughs> I don't seem to any more than anybody else. You know, okay. I write notes to myself, but you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any speech problems? Nope. Nope. Okay. Judgment. Does Only when I'm drinking. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. So, uh, well, since you brought up drinking, <laughs> how often would you say you drink? Oh, I probably six nights a week. Okay. Two, two, maybe three, three on the weekends. Okay. A night. Okay. Three drinks on a weekend? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. If I'm feeling awake. Okay. Yeah. So on the weekdays, how many glasses a night would you say you have? One to two. One, One to two. two. Okay. So about three combined for the weekend, three drinks. Oh, no. Two to three at night on the weekend. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two to three each night. Each yeah. night on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when we say weekend, are we saying Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or just We're Saturday? Just saying Sunday? Friday, Saturday. Oh, Friday, Saturday. Right. Okay. Sunday's more of a weeknight because I have to get up in the morning. Okay. So you don't drink on Sunday? Uh, one to two. Oh, one okay. to two most nights. Okay. Most nights, yeah. Okay. One to two. My my grandparents called it a nightcap. Mm hmm You know. <laughs> okay, so on the weekend I have two to three drinks per night. Per night. Mm hmm And that's Friday and Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then Sunday, one to two drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And during the week, how many did you say during the week? Same one to two a night. One to two per night. <clears throat> okay. All right. And what about tobacco? No, I quit smoking about five years ago. Okay. But I do vape now. Okay. <clears throat> How often do you vape? Um, a lot. A lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's a lot to you? Like it's in my hand most of the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so daily. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to measure it with cigarettes. You could say a pack a day, right? The the machines. It's you know exactly. You know, it's, it's... What about street drug use? No, no, no. Okay. I'm too busy drinking every <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's talk about your sleeping pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, which, how many hours a day do you think you sleep? I probably sleep six to seven hours a night most okay. nights. Well, that's good. Okay. What about naps? You take naps? Uh, I do probably three or four a week. I'll take a half hour nap. Okay. It's usually the dog that calms me into it, you know. Okay. <laughs> do you sleep on pillows? Yes. Yes. How many do you sleep on? Just one. Okay. And any other sleep aids? Um, in the winter, I have a heated blanket. Okay. Yeah. That helps you get to sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you have problems sleeping in the winter? No, I just, it's, it's getting just... into bed when it's cold and I'm a weenie when it comes to oh, cold. Comfort. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let's talk about your exercise pattern. Do you exercise? I go for walks um, most days, mm -hmm. unless it's too, too windy, cold out. Okay. How often, approximately, would you say you walk? Um, well, except for the last couple of weeks, you know, every day. Every okay. day. Go for at least a mile to three, so every day. Okay. Okay. And any other type of exercises? Yoga. Yoga. Okay. And how long do you... Often and long do you do that? Uh, every day for 20 to 30 minutes. That's good. All right. So have you traveled outside the U.S. No. lately? No. Okay. And what are your hobbies? Uh, work. Work? Okay. Work. Mm -hmm. Any other hobbies? No, not right now. All right, let's see. And you already said you were single. Okay. So it sounds like a, I don't know how you call, would you call it when something is enjoyable and also stressful. <laughs> Because we're going work. back to this. Right. So, right. <laughs> work. So, yes, work, work. <laughs> so as far as uh, stress and coping issues or whatnot, mm -hmm. it's just the work. Anything else? No, not really. I mean, 
aside from 2020, just haven't gone through, right? Mm -hmm. I'm all stressed out from yeah. that, you know, yeah. but all that. Yeah. yeah. So any, uh, how do you cope with your stress? Um, I drink. Oh. <laughs> And do yoga, uh -huh. yeah. And you find it helpful? You know, stretching is helpful, and, and going for walks with the dog are helpful. And, and the drinks, I'm sorry, I know they're not <laughs> healthy, but it's helpful. So yeah. Okay. It's whatever works for you. Well, as long as it's not hurting other people, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So has there been any life changes, major life changes in the past two years? Except Stop smoking. I stopped smoking, mm -hmm. but that was five years ago. Oh, that was five? Yeah. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Uh, I, I See think, why I have to write things down? Well, yeah, well, I do too, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, except for this pandemic, you know, that's a pretty big life change. Mm -hmm. you know? As you know, I mean, you're dealing with it more than I am, so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, what do you do? Do you, Does the pandemic stress you out any? Uh, not as much as the elections. Okay. You know, so, and all those things seem to be kind of coming to a head. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so finishing out. So. so I probably know the answer, but maybe not. But how do you cope with this pandemic and being and at home, having to work from home and everything? Uh, jigsaw puzzles. Oh. I know that sounds weird. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Whatever yeah. works for you. Yeah. And movies. I talk a lot to my daughter online, you know. Mm hmm I know that probably alleviates a lot of stress talking to your daughter. It's just well, yeah, and it's good not to be a hundred percent isolated, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Movies. Okay. So, are you sexually active? Not in the last year. Okay. Again, I'm blaming the pandemic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And if you don't mind me asking, your gender preference? Uh, I'm heterosexual. So. Okay. All right. And my next question was, has anything changed about your sexual health or function? It's, it's not happening. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the pandemic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So... The rest of the questions are going to be yes or no questions. Okay. So we're almost done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So I'm going to, going to ask you a few questions and you just answer yes or no. Okay. Okay. Uh, you already told me you didn't have any weight changes. Uh, any weakness, fatigue, or fevers? No. Okay. Pertaining to your skin, any rashes, lumps, sore throat, excuse me, not sore throat, that is your throat and not right. your skin, <laughs> so rashes, lumps, sores, nope, itching, dryness, lots of dryness, 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 okay, but it's winter time. Okay. You know, and then and then all the extra hand washing, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so hand washing in the weather. So what part of your body, your skin would you say that dries? Elbows, okay. you know, knees. Anywhere I don't put extra lotion on. <laughs> So hands, face, elbows, knees, yeah. anything else? Uh, I mean, where the skin is and it's dry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so would you say? Yeah. Well, I think it's the, the heater. So yeah, your feet everywhere, you know. Okay. Kind of, yeah. So are these specific areas or would you just say your whole body? I just say in general. Okay. Know. It's just worse in certain areas. Oh, I get like you. I get, you know, I'm assuming that's true with everybody. Right. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Any changes uh, in color, in your uh, nails, or hair? 
Only when I diet. Okay. <laughs> okay, your head. Uh, yes, headaches mm -hmm. and any head injuries. Mm -hmm. Dizziness. No. Vertigo. No. Okay. Eyes. Any vision problems? Uh, just dry eyes and you know. Okay. We're same the heat and the staring at a computer too. So. <laughs> okay. Any pain, eye pain? No. Okay. Redness or swelling? They get a little red after I'm at work. Okay. You know, again, I'm guessing that's the computer, so. Okay. Do you have any corrective lenses? No. We already talked about the eye exam. Mm -hmm. uh, any excessive tearing of the eye? No. Double vision? No. Blurred vision? Only on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Scotoma? No. Okay. Ears? Any hearing changes? No. Okay. Tinnitus, earaches, infections? Discharge of the ear, hearing loss, nope. hearing aids. Do you use hearing nope. aids? Okay. All right. No and sinuses. Any colds lately? No, just when it's dry, I, you know, cough okay. a little bit. You know. Congestion. Nasal obstruction. Nasal discharge. Itching. Hay fever or allergies? Nope. Nosebleeds? Nope. Change in sense of smell? No. I don't really have a good sense of smell anyway, so. Oh, okay. You know. So sometimes I smell stuff and sometimes I don't. Thought I had COVID once because of that. Okay, so. How long have you not had a good sense of smell? My whole life. Okay, so. My mom doesn't either, so. Oh, okay. It goes back and forth with her, too. Any sinus pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we'll get to the throat and the mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any bleeding gums? Uh, a little bit, but nothing continuous. You know, I, okay. I had something stuck in there, so no big deal. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mouth pain? Nope. Toothache? Mm. No. Mm -hmm. Lesions in the mouth or mm -hmm. tongue? No. Dentures? No. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Sore tongue? No. Dry mouth? No. Now the question is sore throat. <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is still no. Okay. <laughs> uh, horse? No. Altered taste? No. Tonsillectomy? No. Uh, neck. Any lumps in the neck? Nope. Okay. Enlarged or tender knots? No. Swollen glands? No. Goiter? No. Pain? No. Neck stiffness? Uh, sometimes back here at the end of the day of work, but not, I don't think that's what you're asking about, is it? Um, I'll just note it. Okay. So at the base of your neck? Yeah, like right the top right there. Okay. So. After being on that computer, yeah, yeah. So, I don't think I asked you how long do you work on the computer a day? Uh, nine to ten hours. Oh wow, nine to ten hours mm -hmm. daily. Yeah, is that Monday through Friday? Yes. Okay. Today was a short day. It was eight hours. Okay. Nine to ten hours. And I assume you take a break. I, in the middle of the day, I take a break and eat lunch and then go back to work. So. so after how many hours do you take a break? Oh, half an hour. After, wait, <laughs> how many hours do I take a break? No, no, no. You're on a computer from nine to okay. 10 hours. So after how many hours do you take your first break? Um, five. Okay.
How many breaks do you take? One. Okay. Any limitation of motion of the neck? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to talk about your breasts. Any lumps that you notice? Mm -hmm. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Discomfort? Mm -hmm. Nipple discharge? No. Any rash? No. Surgeries? No. No. History of breast disease? Mm -hmm. Do you perform a self breast exam? I do. You do? Okay. And when was the last time? Uh, probably a week ago. Okay. Okay. How often do you do do the breast exam, self breast exams? About once a month or so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you haven't had a mammogram. Okay. Any tenderness? Uh, lumps, swelling, or rash of the axilla area, mm -hmm. okay. and pulmonary. So you got the dry cough. And what you say the cough is related to? Just the dry air usually, yeah. Okay. Okay, and it's non-productive. Okay. Any hemoptysis? Hemoptysis. Okay. <laughs> Dyspnea. No. Wheezing. No. Pleuritic pain. I am not sure what that is. Oh, just chest pain. Oh no. <laughs> Any history of lung disease? No. Uh, this is good. Well, my father had emphysema. Does that tie in? Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah. So family history, but not my own personal history. I know they have been uh, told to tell about my father's history, too, because of mm -hmm. the heart issues. So, so he had emphysema? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, lung disease, toxins, or pollutant exposure, pollution exposure. Uh, and you said you haven't had a chest, chest x-ray or a TB scan test. Okay, cardiac. And so no chest pain or discomfort. Any palpitations? Mm -mm. Dyspenia? Mm -mm. Orthopenia? Not that I know of. Edema? No. Cyanosis? No. Okay. All right. Something from <laughs> All right. Uh, Nocturia? No. History of mummers? No. Hypertension? No. Anemia? No. Okay. GI. No. Any, any, everything. No. Anything. I know. I got a lot of no's. It's kind of boring. <laughs> okay. We're almost done, believe it or not. Okay. So you say you haven't had any changes in your appetite. Um, any jaundice? No. 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 Uh, nausea, uh, emesis? No. Okay. Uh, difficulty swallowing? Heartburn? No. Pain? Mm -mm. Belching. Only when I eat too fast. Okay. No. <laughs> Any gas issues? Mm -mm. Okay. No change in your bowel habits. We talked about that. Um, Any hematochesia? No. Okay. Hemorrhoid? No. Melena? No. Constipation? No. Diarrhea? No. Any food intolerance? No. Okay. So the GU, 
So any frequency of uh, urination? No, no more than usual. Okay. Uh, any nighttime? You, do you see an increase of nighttime urination? Only on the weekends. <laughs> right. Urgencies? No. Difficulty? No. Uh, urinating? No. Okay. Any blood in your urine? No. I would have been here sooner if okay. I was. <laughs> okay. And any problems with no incontinence? Like don't mm -hmm. have to go? Okay. Okay. So how old is your daughter? 23. Okay. And I ask because these questions, you may look at me like I'm crazy, but um, after childbirth, did you do Kegel exercises or do you currently do Kegel exercises? Uh, I did. I don't really as much, you know, like, okay. you know, I don't think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you take it? Are you taking any birth control? No. Any birth control? Back? Well, you haven't been sexually active in a year, so. Mm. Okay. When you are sec sexually active, do you have a birth control method? Condom. Okay. Okay. Have you been exposed to HIV? No. Okay. Minorities? No. Okay. Frequency and duration of menses. Menses, sorry. Uh, once a month, six days. Okay. Okay. So, any P uh, PMS symptoms? No. Okay. Bleeding between menses? No. Or after intercourse? No. Okay. Any vaginal discharge? Mm -mm. Itching? No. Any sores? No. Any lumps? No. Okay. <laughs> Again, I would have been here sooner. <laughs> and what was your last menstrual period? Uh, last Tuesday. Okay. And that was normal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Peripheral vascular? No. So, any coldness, tingling, mm -mm. numbness? Leg cramps? Nope. Bear cross vein? I, not yet. I don't think so yet, but they do come, right? They do come. <laughs> Any history of blood clots? Mm -mm. Discoloration of uh, hands? Nope. Any ulcers? Nope. Okay. Musculoskeletal? Any muscle or joint pain or cramps other than your head? No. I mean, other than your headaches? No. no. Okay. Joint stiffness? Uh, no. History of arthritis or gout? Uh, no. Any limitation of movement other than, I know you said the headache limits yeah. when you move it. No, only when, you know, you sleep on your neck funny. Mm -hmm. That happens like once a year or so to just about everybody I know. So, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. History of disc disease. I don't even know what that is, so I must not have it. Oh, uh, in your spine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about neuro. Okay. Uh, any seizures? No, I'm good on that end, too. So. Okay. Any weaknesses? Just just for those drinks. Okay. <laughs> Paralysis? Nope. Stroke? Nope. Numbness, tingling? Nope. Tremors or ticks? Nope. Involuntary uh, movements? No. Nope. Coordination problems? No. Nope. Memory disorders or mood change? No. Nope. History nope. of mental disorders or hallucinations? No. Nope. All right. And now we're going to talk about the blood. Uh, any history of anemia? Uh, only when I was pregnant for a little bit. So. Okay. The whole duration of your pregnancy? Just the end. The last, okay. last few months. Yeah. First trimester? Mm-hmm. Did that cause problems with your pregnancy? No. Okay. She was a little jaundiced when she came out, but I don't think that has anything to do with no. it. No. no. Okay. Do you have problems with easy bruising or bleeding? No. Any blood?
blood turns free. Well, you said no. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. No lint lords. Last page. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And we talked about the uh, lip knot swelling, exposures to toxin agents or radiations. Um, so we're going to talk about the endocrine now. So no problems with heat or cold uh, intolerance. We talked about that. Excessive sweating? No. Uh, polydipsia? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, polydipsia is excessive yeah. thirst oh, okay. and polyphagia oh, poly is excessive I'm hunger. I the other way. <laughs> Good, no. <laughs> I think I sweat the normal amount. Okay. Uh, and we talked about the polyuria. No. Mm -hmm. um, what is your glove or shoe size? My shoe size? Yeah. That's a weird question. Eight and a half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I know where to go if I need to buy some shoes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, histories of diabetes, mm -hmm. thyroid disease, hormone replacement, abnormal hair distribution. And I went fast because we went right. over yeah, that. Are, yeah, a lot of that's touched on. And we talked about sight also. Um, mm -hmm. Do you, are you... Have do you have problems with nervousness or anxiety? No. Any depression? I you know nothing that's debilitating. Every now and again you get sad, right? Mm -hmm. That's not really depression, right? Right. right. Any suicide attempts? No. Okay. I'm sticking around. <laughs> okay. I'm sticking around. And we already said that you didn't have a history of mental illnesses. Not that I know of, okay. but maybe if someone would disagree. <laughs> Okay. Well, this does conclude our interview. Oh, wonderful. An assessment. Yes, it does. So what will happen next is I will develop a plan for your headaches and get that under control for you. And um, the next step will be a physical. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? for me right now no i don't I th i'm questioned out i think thank okay. you okay <laughs> okay well i'm going to go work on the plan and like i said the next thing is the physical and um like i said this concludes this portion of it and thank you so much for your patience i for know sure. this was a long interview they always are though yeah. <laughs> not your fault you got to get all the information right okay so um i'll have uh the girls come back in here and um if you need anything from them let them know if not okay. i will see you for your physical great okay thank you oh thank you're you. welcome and nice to meet nice you nice to meet you